In this video, I'm going to show how we can assign a shortcut key to a macro in Microsoft Excel 2010 or 2007. They both will have a similar procedure. So to get started, I'm going to go to my Developers tab, and I'm going to hit Record Macro. I'm just going to call this macro Select All and Copy. And I'm just going to say this one is Control-I. And I'm going to go on and hit OK. The very first thing I want this macro to do is select Sheet 2. Select Columns A through M and then just delete click back to A1 go back to sheet 1 copy A through I and then paste it and then go back to sheet 1 and I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop recording so there all I did was just create a macro and I can just ignore that one this is the one that we just did right now and as we can see if we were to Go to the source code and by, by clicking edit, we'll see the keyboard shortcut is control plus I. So let's go on and try this out. I'm going to delete what's in sheet 2 and I'm going to try running the code. I'm going to do control I. And there you have it. The macro was called and it went on and executed the code that we wanted. So that concludes this portion of the video, just demonstrating how to set up a shortcut key to a macro. Thank you for watching.